Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I made a video on the square back and to be honest I've been kind of busy with other things. This video is going to be a quick little update on what's going on so far. One of the things that I replaced and didn't record were when I replaced the shock absorbers here up front. And in the past I actually replaced them with these new old stock KYB gas adjusts. I don't know, I mean, me thinking that they were new old stock, I thought they were going to be much better because they are technically a shorter shot. I put these in and when I was running it, they were just super, super bouncy and it was killing my back, like absolutely killing my back. So I found these, I heard about them from a guy on Facebook and he gave me the part number and sure enough, they were on Amazon. So these are oil filled something something whatever it fits great in the in the stock location put them on maybe like 500 miles ago and they've just been great i mean it's still kind of bouncy because i am lowered three splines here up in the front but i mean it's i think it's probably going to be the best it's going to get unless i don't know I'll, I'll figure something out in the future but for now i took these off these were barely even driven really so these i mean they were new new old stock they're technically not new anymore but they're still in excellent shape they're just not right for me so i'm gonna switch those out i'll probably put these in the market or something so since i've been driving this car a little bit more frequently it's nice just to have like my ipad in this basket and i have like my maps or my music or something actually i'm gonna take these off and i'll show you those in a second i really wanted to put my iPad here so I can have like my music, my GPS, navigation. I could not get myself to drill anything on here or put any kind of 3M. So what I found was this one here off a 66. I don't know, it's pretty cool. It kind of matches this here with this little chrome piece. This ashtray actually slides right into here and this little handle thing comes off. My original plan was to screw in some kind of mount so that I can put this here just like that. I don't know, I mean, even then, I still didn't really wanna like modify this or anything. I mean, it's original and I don't wanna change it and kind of lo lose its value or whatever. So I ended up not using this one either. I got these magnet things here that you can kind of swivel and, and I actually stuck two of them together up against each other so that I have a magnet on one side and also another magnet on the other. And I can stick that there with this other one. With my iPad, I have this case that you can take off and it's like magnetic right here. So I can just pull that out a little bit and then I'll just have like my music, my navigation, and I don't have to modify either one of my ashtrays. And then even with, I mean, I can't show you, but I can also stick my iPhone on here because I have like one of those metal pieces in the back of my case. So it also kind of sticks right there. Pretty much the same thing as this, just a smaller screen. I also met this guy from one of the meets that I went to not long ago. His name is Rocky, and he told me he had a spare rear hatch for a square back and he had no use for it. And it's actually really nice. I mean, obviously you can tell this is for a newer square back because of this light thing here. It's from an automatic. I did notice that this window here has these lines. I'm wondering if the later models came with like a rear defroster. If you know, I guess leave a comment. I really don't know too much about it. All right, that's gonna live there for however long until I can one day put it up on the side of that shed. But I wanted to take that out because I need to show you something in the engine bay and that would explain why there's extra carburetors here. Let's prop this up real quick. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I made this. Yeah, I cut this up off of some rug that my girlfriend was throwing away. So you know what I did is I took out this board here, this tar board thingy. It's completely torn here. I, I, th I think it's torn because of all the mechanics that kind of work on the car like this with a right hand over. Yeah, I, I, that's my guess because literally that's where my arm goes every single time I get in here. Anyways, yeah, I took out this tar board. I stenciled it in the back of this rug here before I cut it and it actually fits pretty nicely. It, it, it definitely keeps the fumes out from the cabin, but yeah, I mean, it keeps the noise down. I call that a win for now until I can actually make a more proper interior for this car. Oh man, I'm out of breath. Anyways, a couple weeks ago, I actually had breakfast with the previous owner of this vehicle. Well, not really previous owner, but the previous owner's wife, the actual owner had actually passed away a few years after this car was stored. This car was stored in 2009. I bought it in 2019. I think he passed away sometime in the middle. 
But anyways, I took her to breakfast just to kind of hang out a little bit, show her the car, what the car's turned into since the four years I bought it. I actually bought it September of 2019, and right now it's October of 2023, so just, just over four years. Yeah, she was super excited to see really like what it's turned into. She gave me a few photos that her husband had taken back in like 1996 or something, and it's funny because it looks exactly the same as when I bought it in 2019 so that was a pretty long drive that was i think in total close to 100 miles round trip and i noticed when i was probably about halfway home my engine kind of started sputtering and it was like i was having really really low idle and it was throwing the engine off completely uh what i found out was the carburetors that my buddy had given me a while ago these carburetors, this swivel action thing here, there's a, uh, a threaded bolt that goes all the way through that holds this in place. What I found out was this nut here was completely missing and this had backed out quite a bit. It was causing this arm to kind of be like all loosey goosey and I just was not getting a proper idle. I took out the original carburetors that I had rebuilt last year. I know these were leaking on the throttle plates. I swapped it out with the throttle plates that were good on these carburetors. So it's it's running pretty well now. I just need to do a little bit more fine tuning, kind of get the idle and all of that stuff. The synchronization, here we go. I use this simply spiked can and just put them on top of that and that and do all that crate oat just kind of mess that up yeah that's gonna take some time because i'm definitely not a professional i got a little bit sidetracked so it's a little bit later now the next thing i wanted to show you were these door panels that i just got yesterday and these are some tmi brand pretty much brand new door panels they have been sitting in somebody's garage for a really long time i found them for a really good deal so bill if you're seeing this thank you man I'll put his handle right here so you can check him out. He's got a really cool fastback. I originally was gonna restore my original door panels, which is why I've had these for such a long time. I just never really got around to doing it. I still have all my original panels here. I saved all of these vinyls that I was gonna stretch over onto the new board. These are the original vinyls here that are in excellent condition. I've had to kind of mix match i made sure everything was complete here but i found those and i mean it's missing a couple pieces actually it's missing uh let's see it's missing this one which unfortunately i took off already but the other side i still have here this actually also came with an incorrect ashtray in the back i think these came off a 66 i'll be able to at least use one of these mix that with that the other thing with these is since they've been sitting for such a long time, the glue started to kind of lift up. I'm gonna need to glue that down and then clamp it, whatever I need to do to put this in. Since I'll have a complete set in here or mostly complete, these I can really just take my time and just eventually restore it. And then once it's fully restored, I still would prefer the original ones over those. So I'll probably put them into the car and put these back up on the market. And the last thing I wanted to showcase is my rediscovery of these inside panels that come out of the front trunk area over here. Honestly, I forgot I even had this set because when I first got this car, I completely gutted out everything inside as well as this front trunk area and I put it away in my little storage cubby. And as I was digging through the door panels and everything, I found it again. And what really sucks is when I was pulling this out from underneath that plywood up there, I kind of ripped a piece of it off, which kind of sucks. I'm going to try to see if there's a way I can glue it and clamp it down because I really want to use this original. I want to just scrub everything off and clean it up. This is kind of like a hard cardboard material, whereas this is like a like a fabric carpet thing. The texture is identical, which I kind of want to keep. Obviously, it's going to require a lot of work to clean up. I mean, as long as I can get an original part, that would be cool. Worst comes to worst, I'll just do the same thing as the rear cargo carpet where I just stencil this out. So that's pretty much the gist of the video that I wanted to go over. Since I just haven't been filming a lot of content on this car, I've been doing some stuff, just little progress here and there. I just wanted to get everybody caught up to speed that way when I make another video and there's like a new part that you haven't seen, now you'll know where it came from. The next video, I'm gonna be working on the interior door panels, which I actually started on the driver's side already. 
right here is a sneak peek. Keep a lookout on the video after this one. Thanks a lot, guys.